Hey, this is Jay Lee. Hope all is well. So I wanted to show you this one. I ended up uh, driving home from work around 3, 3.30, uh, heading up north on Mason Avenue here in the San Fernando Valley. So I noticed something in the sky uh, over on the left-hand side of the street. Once I saw it, it was I was kind of fixated on it, and I just wanted to see what, it, what the heck it was. I figured whatever it was, it was heading north also because it took me a little while to catch up to it. There was also a breeze that was probably helping it go north. To me, it looked like a flat balloon, you know, by the time I caught up to it. So I pulled off on, on the side of the road so I could videotape it. What was weird is that when I stopped and got out, it looked like it had stopped also. It seemed like it stopped right in front of me and then turned around and started heading south. And not only that, it seemed like it was starting to gain momentum and go faster. It couldn't have been more than 500 feet from me. It was definitely close. To me, it looked like a flat balloon. But I discovered that with my experimentation with Mylar balloons, that flat balloons don't fly. If you don't believe me, try it. I'll post your results. I've noticed that balloons with even a little bit of helium depletion doesn't fly. These Mylar balloons can't even lift up a dime. Maybe the reason why it's flat is because someone cut off the tether tag. The average Mylar tether tag is about 3 to 4 inches long. You can definitely see it protruding from a Mylar balloon. One thing I did notice was that there was a lot of birds flying by it, at least things that looked like birds. I noticed that there was reflection flashes at the front and in the back as it was moving through, but like toward the end, hitting. I noticed that the flashing was right at me. The other thing I thought was a little bit strange on this thing is that the front of it would dip and then the back of it would dip and then the front would dip again and then the back would dip again but it was almost like it was rhythmic and intentional. There was no tether and it was kind of moving fast. It was just heading the opposite direction. Toward the end there, it seemed like uh, it stopped going south and started heading west. When was the last time you've seen something like this? Now, I'm not saying that this is not a balloon. It has a lot of characteristics that indicate that this is a balloon. But what about the anomalies? What about the fact that it's flat? What about the fact that it doesn't have a tether nor a tether tag? And what about the change in directions? You have to look at both sides of the coin and keep an open mind. You cannot ignore the obvious. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. Uh, hope to see you at our next UFO sighting event. I'll see you there.